This lesson is about bivariate data and considers how a scatter graph can help us to look for correlation between the two variables and make predictions. When we draw a scatter graph of bivariate data, we're looking to see if there's any correlation between the two variables. Is there a relationship between the two variables? Correlation can be positive, which is where as one variable increases, so does the other variable, or it can be negative, where as one variable increases, the other decreases. Or there might be no correlation. Next we can describe the correlation as perfect or strong and weak or moderate. If there's a general positive or a general negative trend, We can be even more specific about the correlation between two variables by using a correlation coefficient. A graphical calculator will be able to generate this value once you've entered the two sets of data. And it's this R value which is the correlation coefficient. An R value of negative 1 is perfect negative correlation and an R value of positive 1 is perfect positive correlation. A correlation coefficient can be any value from negative 1 to positive 1. An R value of close to 0 indicates that there is no correlation. An R value between, say, negative 0 0.5 and negative 1 is strong negative correlation. And an R value above positive 0 0.5 is strong positive correlation. An R value between 0 and negative 0 0.5 is weak negative correlation. So this example comes from the first page of this lesson, looking at the relationship between the amount of food people eat per year and the number of deaths due to heart disease. And using this R value of 0 0.82, we can say that there is strong positive correlation between these two variables. We need to be a little bit careful when drawing conclusions about bivariate data. Looking at these two examples here, although the points plotted form a straight line, neither of these is bivariate. In the first example, x varies but y remains constant, and in the second example, x remains constant while y varies. So these two are examples of univariate data, not bivariate. Now let's look at how we can use a class pad calculator to determine the value of R. We first need to enter the pairs of values into the statistics app and we'll edit clear all if there's data already there. And when we enter the data, it's important that we make sure these pairs of values remain in the same order. The 92 is paired with the 51 and so on, so we can't mix up the values as we enter them. So you can see I have my x values in list 1 and my y values in list 2 and the ordered pairs are still in the correct order. Now I go to calc 2 variable, my x values are in list 1, my y values are in list 2, OK and a number of statistics are calculated here. n is the number of pairs of values, that's 14. x bar is the mean of the x values, so 57.9. The standard deviation of the x scores is sigma x, 28.4. The mean of the y scores, y bar, 32.9. The standard deviation of the y scores, sigma y, 9.0. To get the R value, we need to go to the next screen, so OK. And this time we're going to calculate the linear regression, X and Y, list 1 and list 2. And I'm going to copy the formula to Y1. I'll explain that later. Now we get our R value, 0 0.826 to three decimal places. We also get the equation of the line of best fit in the form y equals a x plus b, we have a is 0 0.26, 
and B is 17.76. Now if we press OK, the calculator plots the points, including the line of best fit, or to give it its correct name, the linear regression line. So we already worked out the equation of that line of best fit. These are the A value and B value. And this linear regression line is useful for predicting Y values for given X values. If we had an X value of 15, we could read up to the line of best fit and read off our Y value. Now we don't have to do this by eye from the graph because the calculator can use that linear regression line to calculate a predicted value. And this is why I asked the calculator to copy the formula to Y1, because if we now go to the Graph app, that formula has now been copied into Y1. And I can graph it as a linear equation and use it to make these predictions. So if I go Analysis, G solve, Y cal, put in an X value of 15, the calculator returns a value of 21.7 to one decimal place. And notice that we call this y hat, because this wasn't one of our original y values. This is a predicted y value. But we can predict y values for x values of 55 and 88. Analysis, G solve, y cal, 55. And that returns a value of 32.2. And then Analysis, G solve, Y cal, 88, returns a value of 40.8 to one decimal place. So when we're writing the equation of a linear regression line, really we should write Y hat is equal to AX plus B. Now we need to ask the question, are these predictions reliable? Firstly, is it appropriate to use a linear model? Well, we calculated an R value, and it was 0 0.83 to two decimal places, which is strong positive correlation, meaning that a linear model is appropriate. But the next thing to consider is whether or not we are interpolating from the data. Our predictions are all being made within the domain of the original points. This is called interpolation. And it's generally deemed to be a reliable method of prediction. Now let's look at an example where we can put these skills into practice. We have 10 people given two tests, test A and test B, and these are their results. Firstly, we're going to plot the data as a scatter graph with test A results on the horizontal and test B results on the vertical axis. Each person is represented by a cross on the diagram. The first person scored 1 in test A and 14 in test B. The second person scored 2 in test A and 17 in test B, then 218 and so on. And it looks like we have strong linear correlation between the marks for these two tests suggesting that it does seem suitable to the use of a linear model. To calculate the correlation coefficient for the 10 pairs of results, I'm going to enter the marks for test A in list 1 on my class pad and test B results in list 2. Back into the statistics app, edit, clear all, and then we can enter the data. To calculate the correlation coefficient, it's calc, linear regression, list 1, list 2, Copy formula to Y1, OK, and our R value is 0 0.978 to three decimal places, which is very strong positive linear correlation. We can also determine the equation of the line of best fit because we have our values for A and B. Test B score, and we should really call this test B score hat, is equal to... 1.96 multiplied by the test A score plus 13.3. And we can have a look at this graph by pressing OK. Now having done all of that work, I don't want to now just guess where my linear regression line is going to be drawn on this graph. I'm going to get the calculator to help me a bit more. If we go back to the lists of data and calc 
two variable. List 1 and list 2, OK. Remember we've got the mean of x, which is 6, and the mean of y, which is 25. Now, although 625 isn't one of the original data points, it will be on the line of best fit. 625, I'll mark it in a different colour and call it mean of A, mean of B. This helps us because the line of best fit, the linear regression line, will go through that point. We also have the equation of the line of best fit. We predict B score, and remember it was 1.96 times the A score, so let's say it's 2 times the A score, plus 13.3. Let's say that's 13. If we imagine a, an A score of 0, that would give us a B score of 13. So our line of best fit is likely to go through this point, and it will have a gradient of 2. And this helps us to draw a reasonably accurate line of best fit through the points. Finally, we're asked to predict a test B score for someone with a test A score of 7. This might be somebody who was present for test A, but absent for test B. And we want to infer a reasonable score for that person. Using the hand-drawn graph, we read from the 7 up to the graph and then across to read off a value. But of course we can get the calculator to confirm that score for us. It looks like it's going to be a score of about 27. But remember I copied the formula into Y1. So I'll hop across to the Graph app. And there it is waiting for me. I'll graph that linear regression line. Analysis, E-solve, Ycal. Put in a score of 7. And the calculator returns a score of 27.0 to one decimal place. And if we comment on the validity of our prediction, we had very strong positive linear correlation and we were interpolating a score and so we can be very confident about the validity of our prediction. Valid because R is close to 1 and we are interpolating, which means predicting a score within the domain of our original values.